hello everyone welcome back in this video we will be seeing the lab session so there will be a two lab in module one so first we'll see the lab a configuring windows powershell in module one so lab a configuring the windows powershell console application so we will just go ahead and get start so first sign into the cl1 machine which is the client okay and uh, next we'll open the powershell as an administrator so you can click start and type power as such and then right click the windows powershell and select run as administrator so ensure you see the administrator here in the windows powershell and then confirm version of powershell that opens so make sure that the windows title bar reads administrator and doesn't include the text x86 so if you see x86 in the uh, title bar then it would be uh, the 32 bit version of powershell and pin PowerShell to the taskbar. So you can right click here and click on pin to taskbar. And then open PowerShell properties. So you can select the control box in the upper left corner of the Windows version. So just click here and select properties. So then change font and text size okay so let me change the font and text size so here select the font tab and then in the font list select consolas and then <coughs> Select the size 16 and then under so next view colors tab. So go to the colors tab to select alternate display color on the colors tab. Review the available screen text. So here you can see the available screen text and uh, screen background color. okay so i'll be just leaving with the default one for now and then adjust window size so to resize the windows window and remove the horizontal scroll bar which you will see it uh, here uh, so for that you can change the width and height value until the windows powershell console pan preview fits completely okay and then adjust screen buffer size okay so i'll just leave with the default one and then start shell transcript okay so let me just click ok So next uh, start shell transcript so in the windows powershell console you can just type the following command start transcript day one dot txt So transcript started output file 
saved in this location. So it would save all the command that we run or type in this shell. So until we use the stop transcript command, so whatever command we type in this console, so it will be recorded in the this text file. So for example, if you just go to <coughs> that file, C drive, day one, and you will see the um, command that we just executed, GIR. Okay. Okay, congratulations, you have successfully completed uh, the steps and uh, next. So we just did the basic uh, PowerShell uh, setup and uh, next uh, lab A, configuring the Windows PowerShell IAC application. So these are the scenario. So open the Windows uh, PowerShell IAC. So you can just click start and type IAC and then hit enter. So since we have the PowerShell console opened already in administrator, now this IAC also opened in administrator mode. So close IAC window open PowerShell IAC as administrator. So similarly, as we opened the PowerShell console, IAC also we can launch it as an administrator. So you can type IAC and right click and run as administrator. Okay, so display script pan. So to configure the IAC to use a single pan view on the Windows PowerShell IAC toolbar, select the show script pan, maximized option, select the hide script pan. So here you see that uh, there is a, a script pan. If you can just expand it, you can use it in the two view. And if you don't want to use the uh, script pan and you just want to use only the, uh, uh, the console, then you can just click on hide it. Okay, show command add-on option. So this you can also do it from the um, the add-on, which is a show command and hide command, and adjust the font size. So you can adjust the font size also, like we did uh, previously, and you can close the PowerShell. Okay, so that's it in um, the lesson A. And next, we'll see Lab B. Okay, so we'll see a Lab B in the next video. Thank you.